We all use operating systems on a daily basis. The mobile devices and personal computers we use all have one installed. Names like Microsoft Windows and Mac OS X are very familiar to us. An operating system, or OS, is, as the name implies, a program that helps with running the device the OS is installed on. It provides an easy way for users to interact with computer hardware. The operating system will control all the basic functions of your computer systems. For example, it organizes all of the data on your storage device into files and folders. It gives a user interface so you can easily input data and it ensures the application software can run. Without an operating system, your hardware wouldn't know what to do and you wouldn't be able to give it any commands. When running several different applications at once, the operating system also plays an important role in managing your system's CPU in order to allow this to happen. Every application you have running needs to be assigned some processing time. This is made more complex because processors only perform a single task at a time. Well, single core processors anyway. The operating system will assign small amounts of the processor time to each application though, and this happens so quickly it appears they are running simultaneously. This is known as scheduling. Obviously you only have a limited amount of processing power on your computer, which is why if you open too many applications your computer will slow down. Your operating system and the device software applications you are running all need to be loaded into main memory in order for them to run. Your computer has only a limited amount of memory to share out though. It is the responsibility of your operating system to assign memory to each of your applications running in order to allow them to run, as well as the deallocation of the memory when the application is no longer in use. Old computers had very small amounts of RAM memory which could barely hold the operating system and any running programs. So operating system developers came up with virtual memory. The idea was that the minute any data loaded into RAM stopped being used, these contents were immediately swapped into a file on the hard drive called the page file. This means that the RAM was freed up for further use. This copying into a file would happen automatically and would be managed by the operating system. If this data was required again, the data would be loaded from this file back into RAM. So, the operating system is a program that allows a user to interact with computer hardware. The OS will divide the CPU processing time between different applications, allowing them to run multiple applications at once. The operating system will manage memory, reclaiming unused memory after a program is shut down. Virtual memory is an area of the hard disk drive that is used when your RAM is full. This involves some unused data in RAM memory being swapped onto the hard drive. 